Hi guys, welcome back. This is Melissa Meck with ClickBank's education team. And in this module, I'm going to talk to you about the different kinds of continuity programs that ClickBank accepts, and I'll show you some real life case studies of vendors offering their continuity program through us. And then we'll try and brainstorm a bit to see if we can help you create a recurring billing product that you can sell through ClickBank. Now, typically, when folks think about continuity, they immediately think of a traditional members-only area. Customers pay so much money per month, and in exchange, they receive fresh new content. In this case, a customer remains a member for as long as they want to keep getting that content. And this is ClickBank's most popular type of recurring billing product. So a great example is here with the vendor It's For Real For You. They offer a members-only area for customers who are looking to learn to make their own wine from home. Now this product has a lot of good things going for it. Because the niche is so specific and because the vendor invests the time and effort into providing quality content to his buyers, finding new customers and keeping his current ones is not an issue. Now, as with any product, the vendor does have refunds, but their refund rate is quite low. Customers who no longer want to subscribe just cancel their membership rather than requesting a refund. This tells us that customers feel they're receiving a fair value and that they're happy with the information the vendor is selling. Some vendors like to offer a continuity program that ends after a specific period of time, and this is called a fixed continuity program. Here we have the vendor R-E-D-D-E-S-E-R-T, and they're offering a seven month long program that teaches folks how to play the violin. They're marketing to customers who might not be able to afford in-person lessons or those who live in small towns where a formal teacher might not be an option. Now, much like the previous example, this product's success is due to its niche. They're not trying to be everything to everyone. They're focused on helping customers learn a specific instrument from the comfort of their home. Now, because the vendor is offering a quality product at a fair price, and because they make themselves readily available to their students, their refund rate is extremely low, and their chargeback rate is non-existent. Also, much like the previous example, customers who cancel their membership typically aren't requesting a refund. Another option for continuity would be to create a software tool or a plugin for customers to use. And here's an example of that. We have the vendor GoDynamo. And on their website, they offer a variety of WordPress plugins. Customers can either select a specific plugin or they can purchase a package that gives them access to all of the plugins that the vendor offers. So rather than provide access to a new plugin each and every month, customers are paying a monthly fee so they can continuously use the plugin they chose, as well as receive updates when they're available and they can get support if they need it. If a customer decides to cancel their access to the plugin, the plugin is deactivated so that they can no longer use it. So now that, you've see, now that you've seen some examples of how vendors are using continuity, it's time for you to brainstorm. So sit down with a pen and some paper and really think about what your current product lineup offers. More importantly, what is it missing? When a customer purchases your product, what is their end goal? What are they setting out to accomplish? Once you consider this, you'll probably have a few decent ideas on how you can offer the information your customers need on a more continual basis. Not only that, but you'll also come up with some additional ideas for standard billing products you can add to your lineup as well. So here's an example. Let's say you offer a product in the weight loss niche. Currently, you're selling an ebook that provides information on healthy eating and recommended exercises. When you consider the customer's end goal, what do you think could be offered that you can bill the customers for over time? So here's some ideas. You could try a forum that your customers can use to talk to each other, share tips, and stay motivated. You could have a blog where you provide postings related to losing weight and being healthy. You could offer a members only area. You could provide new recipes and shopping lists on a monthly basis, or you can provide new exercises in a video format that your customers can add to their workouts. If customer motivation is a problem, you could maybe host an audio series where every month you interview someone who has gone through the weight loss process, or you could provide a software tool, plugin, or phone app that counts calories and tracks workouts to help customers gauge their success. So as you can see, there's a lot of potential for continuity here. The key is to always think about your customer's end goal. And when you keep that in mind, creating and providing products they need isn't so hard. 
So up next, we'll talk about creating your continuity program and third parties that you can use to help you. And we'll also cover some rules and requirements with ClickBank. So I'll see you in the next module. Thank you.